Hi, I'm Kenny Joya. Welcome to another one of my tutorials. In this video, I'm going to show you how to layer Reverb in Reaper. Now the purpose of layering our reverb is to create a more unique, dynamic, and interesting effect on very specific instruments, as each reverb can be assigned to do different things. But it's important to understand that we probably wouldn't do this with all of our reverbs. In a dense mix, much of this will get lost. But when you're dealing with a very sparse production and a sound that really uses heavy reverb, it could be worth the extra effort to get this type of effect. So let's check it out. I have a project set up here with a very sparse guitar. Let's hear it. So let's go to the track effects on this track. Let's go to the Reaper effects and choose Reverberate. Now this is going to work with any reverb you choose. I'm just choosing this one because it comes with Reaper, so I know you have it. Double click it, and it looks like this. Let's set the dry sound to zero and adjust the wet sound or the reverb level to taste. Notice it's a very short reverb. Let's hear it in bypass. Now it's just here, the wet or the reverb, which will make it easier to hear the filters. We can use the low pass filter to filter out the top end and make the reverb not as bright or darker. Then let's bring the dry sound back in. So that'll be our first very small or short reverb. Let's add another one on top by copying this one and pasting it, which duplicates the reverb. Let's turn this one off for now and work on this one. Let's make the room size bigger. Let's turn off the dry and adjust the filter. Let's also adjust the high pass filter, which will filter out the low end. Let's also adjust the stereo width of this reverb, so it's not so wide and a bit more mono. Let's bring the dry back in. Adjust the wet. Let's add some initial delay, which will give us a pre delay for the reverb. So it'll play a bit later, which will give it some space from the first reverb. Let's hear the first one again, and then both together. Now let's add a third reverb by copying and pasting to duplicate. And let's reset the settings. Let's make the room size really big. And let's turn the other two off for now. And let's dampen this reverb less so the room is brighter. To separate it even more from the first two reverbs, 
let's make the initial delay even longer than the second one. Now let's hear it with the other two reverbs. It's a very thick and more interesting sound with three different reverbs playing at the same time. We have a short one, a medium one, and a very long and bright one. Let's adjust them one at a time again. Here's the short one. With the medium one, And then finally, all three. Now, if we want to save it so we can use it again, just right click over here, go to Effects Chains, and choose Save All Effects as Chain. Then we can give it a name, Layered Reverb. Let's delete the effects from here. And if we want to add that preset, just right click the Effects button, go to Effects Chains, and choose that preset. Layered reverb. And that loads it all in exactly as we saved it. The short, medium, and long reverbs with their settings. It's a great way of creating a more interesting effect by layering our reverbs instead. So that's pretty much it. That's how to create layered reverb in Reaper. I hope you learned something. Hope you can use it. And I'll see you next time. Thanks. Bingo, boys, let's go.